y'all. Welcome back. It's Liz with Recurrent, and I'm here to help you drive your EVs confidently. So today's question is a good one, and it's, is an LFP battery right for you? Now, in order to answer this question, first, you have to know what an LFP battery is. So let's jump right in. There's a ton of jargon when it comes to electric vehicles. It's enough to make your BMS go into turtle mode. In other words, it can be really overwhelming and off-putting, but we don't want technical terms or weird lingo to put anybody off from getting really excited about EVs. So we are here today with the ABCs of EVs. Okay, you probably know that EVs are powered by lithium ion batteries, which are the same sort of battery that's in your cell phone or your computer. But what you may not realize is that there are actually a lot of different types of lithium ion batteries, and usually they're named after the materials that are in them. So today we're gonna to be talking about one of the newer and really cool chemistries, and it's called LFP. I'm super excited about LFP batteries, and I know that there are a lot of battery scientists and EV experts who are too. They offer a host of benefits compared to other EV batteries, which are usually cobalt based and are called things like NCA or NMC. All right, so humans have been using cobalt as a pigment and a paint for thousands of years. And if you think about cobalt blue, you can probably bring to mind this really pretty deep blue color. Cobalt also helps stabilize lithium ion batteries and enhances their energy density, which is something you want in an EV battery. Unfortunately, getting cobalt out of the ground has a lot of problems. There are ethical and human rights concerns as well as sustainability issues, and the dust is actually toxic. So ideally, the more cobalt we can keep in the ground, the better. And this is part of where LFP batteries come in because they are made without any cobalt. Instead, they use lithium, phosphate, and iron, which are materials that are much easier to find and generally easier to dig out of the ground. So as mentioned, one of the big benefits of LFP batteries is that they don't use any cobalt. So potentially, they're a more sustainable and ethical choice for EVs. And as wonderful as that is, that's not the main reason that auto manufacturers like LFP batteries. Of course, that's the money. Making and sourcing LFP batteries can be two to three times cheaper than making a cobalt-based battery. So that means the batteries are cheaper, the cars are cheaper, more people drive them. It's good news all around. In addition, LFP batteries are more resistant to degradation from high heat and high voltage, which you may remember are two things you experience when you use a DC fast charger. Overall, LFP batteries last longer than cobalt batteries, as much as two to five times longer, and overall, they degrade less rapidly. So this all sounds awesome. Why would you not want to use LFP batteries everywhere? Okay, there's one big reason. LFP batteries have less energy density than cobalt-based batteries. What does that mean? So in short, if you have two batteries, one LFP and one cobalt-based, like an NCA battery, the LFP battery will be able to store less energy if they're the same size. So what does that mean? You're gonna need more LFP batteries to get the same range as you would with a cobalt-based battery. And moreover, no matter how many LFP batteries you add, they won't have the same power, or they won't be able to deliver energy as quickly as a cobalt-based battery. So what this means is you typically see LFP batteries in the base trim or standard range model of cars. So you could think of a Model 3 or the standard range Ford Mustang Mach-E, whereas a lot of the performance and long range models still use cobalt batteries for all that sweet, sweet power and speed. So the question today is, how do you know if an LFP battery is right for you? And of course, we all have our own transportation needs. Some of us go into the mountains every day, and some of us are college students who need to save some cash. So there are a couple of lifestyle considerations that may make LFP batteries better for you. The first big one is if you live in a really hot climate, and this is especially true if you don't have a garage or a climate-cooled place for you to park your car, LFP batteries are more resistant to heat-related degradation. Second, do you rely on fast charging? Maybe, like me, you live in an apartment, or you're a rideshare driver, or you're just not allowed to install a level two charger where you need, and you know that you're gonna be hitting up a DC fast charger all the time. Again, DC fast chargers create a lot of heat and a lot of high voltage, and these are two things that LFP batteries stand up really well to. So if you're gonna be relying on fast charging, an LFP battery may be the choice for you. Okay, finally, are you looking for an EV battery that's gonna last you from the newborn stage until your kid goes to college? If so, you should know that LFP batteries last on average two to five times as long as cobalt-based batteries. So if you're really looking for a car that's gonna be with you for 20 years, an LFP battery may be the right choice. And remember 
that there are fewer sustainability and ethical concerns when it comes to LFP batteries. Not zero, but some people do prefer them for the ethics. All right, so now that we talked about LFP batteries, let's recap. Our first point, and this one is really important, especially for future videos, LFP batteries are just a type of lithium ion battery. They are cheaper and more durable and they last longer, but they're just a lithium ion battery. Okay, number two. An EV with an LFP battery may be the right choice for you if you live somewhere that's really hot, or if you're gonna fast charge all the time, or if you value a really long cycle life. Okay, finally, if you're looking for crazy power and performance or you want really long range, the EV you buy will probably still have a cobalt-based battery in it, at least for the time being. All right, thank you so much for joining us. If you love this video, please do all the things, like it, share it, comment below. We have real people at Recurrent who will actually read your comments and get back to you, and we'll see you next time. Bye.